All right, this is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test. This is the second practice test, so practice test 2. Uh, question number 1. So the question says, add 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 plus negative 2x squared minus x plus 3. When it's an add question, even if it didn't say add, you should be able to tell that it's an add question just because there's a plus right there in the middle. I mean, that pretty much you know, gives it away, doesn't it? So what we're going to do here when we're adding things is we're just going to combine like terms. So I have my x squareds here. I'm going to make two lines under my x squares, one under my x's, and nothing under my regular integer terms. Since it's a plus, I don't have to do anything weird. I just do 3 plus negative 2. So if I wanted to use my calculator to do it, I do 3 plus negative 2. And I get 1 x squared. So x squared. For the next one, I'm going to do my x's together. So I do 4 minus 1, which is, of course, 3x. And then finally, I'm left with the negative 1 plus 3 thing. So negative 1 plus 3 would be plus 2. So, of course, my final answer to this question is this. Say you lost your mind completely and you are just hating your life for a second. If you need to do it, as long as your x value is equal to anything other than zero, which you can change in the range, by the way, you can do this question without having to know anything about math at all. I suggest you just learn to combine like terms because it's not that hard, but you can still get the right answer. All you have to do is type everything in as it, would, as it shows on the, on the screen. So 3x squared plus 4x minus 1, and close that out, and then I'm going to add negative 2x squared minus x plus 3 and hit enter. This number has no numerical value, it's just a trick. So what I'm going to do is try to find this 132 here in the problem by just plugging in the answer choices. Well my original idea is that the answer should be x squared plus 3x plus 2. So if I hit enter, it gives me 132, just like it's supposed to. So since these two things match, I'm in good shape. That's a good thing. On the other hand, if I typed in something else, so say I did 5x squared plus 4x plus 2, it doesn't give me 132, so that wouldn't be the right answer. And this only works, by the way, if x is something other than 0. Occasionally you get an error. Well, how do you change the x value? You go into the window section, you change your x min and x max, and then graph something, and it'll change it to whatever you just changed the x max to. So it does work, but my suggestion is you just learn to do adding and subtracting polynomials, but because it's not that hard. But worst comes worst, you're at least covered in that situation. So good luck.